Well, a God morning to you all today. Hi, family. It's so nice that you could join us today. And we know that you have busy schedules and you've got things to do. Mm. But we want to thank you for joining us and taking right. time to watch thank this morning. You. Yes, thank you, everybody. We are so grateful to the Lord for each and every one of you. And our prayer for you, as always, is that whatever it is that we are sharing with you, we'll be able to help you live better lives for the Lord. Remember, the Lord wants to showcase you. And when we use godly, practical wisdom that comes from Proverbs, we can all get to do that. And nobody is excluded. That's right. The Lord had everyone in mind because the book of Proverbs is for everyone. Amen. Amen. And yesterday we looked at Proverbs 3 and 9 in the Passion Translation, and it says, Glorify God with all your wealth, honoring Him with your first fruits, with every increase that comes to you. That's right. And we got to see the correlation between our giving and God's glory. Yeah, absolutely. And we saw also how that our giving is a visible act of our worship unto God. And by that, God is honored and He's glorified. But I also do believe that God is glorified because there is nothing that touches and reveals our hearts like when it comes time to give. That's very true indeed. There's nothing that really touches a person's heart than when we touch a person's wallet. Absolutely, true story. Money is a touchy subject <laughs> and nothing better reveals our hearts than when we touch uh, our finances. Yeah, because when you talk about money, people get funny. Yeah. But you know, the amazing thing about when we give to God, it's a prophetic declaration here on earth mm. that we, when we give to God, we say that there's a God in heaven who's more than enough. Right, absolutely. Prophetically, we say here on earth. Yeah. And I think it's because our money represents us. Yeah. And we work hard for our money. That's right. You know, it's our very sweat and blood and tears. Absolutely. So, you know, it's yeah. important. Absolutely, 100%. And, and do you know that Jesus often spoke about money and watched people as they gave because he knew what was happening on the inside of them. Mm -hmm. um, I remember many, many years ago, uh, there was a certain member in our church and, and you always uh, used to sit in the second row, sort right? Sort of second, front, third yeah. row. And every time it came uh, time for the offering, he would get up and go to the bathroom. And then when the offering time was over there, he was walking back down the aisle and getting back into his seat. And at first I thought, you know, the guy needed the loo. But then I soon began to realize he was wrestling on the inside with his giving unto the Lord. And then when I got to know him a little better, I could see that there was a definite struggle. There was a big struggle. And sadly, I never ever witnessed joy, victory in his life. Mm. He was always sad, depressed, moaning about everything, and basically lived a defeated lifestyle. Mm. You see, giving and money for this poor man was indeed a very touchy subject. And like we said before, God doesn't really need our money, mm. all right? Why would he, when he, when the cattle on a thousand hills are his, the silver and the gold is his, yeah. the earth and all of its fullness is his, um, he gets uh, us to give because giving and money is a touchy subject. That's right. And it touches the heart and reveals and exposes our hearts. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really what it is when it comes to money. And we, we want to pray for you today that that you wouldn't allow offense to come in when, it, uh, when it's time to give. Sometimes people get offended. They don't want to talk about money. You know, the and, Bible says uh, God loves a cheerful kind of a giver. Stuff. I mean, none of us want a gift given to us half-heartedly or thrown at yeah. us or whatever. But so, let it also yeah. just deal with whatever's in our hearts. Be honest and transparent and say, God, if, if you know, there, there, there is stuff in my heart that when we talk about money, it, it closes me up, it shuts me down, it brings offense, then um, let the Lord rather deal and heal with whatever's in the heart. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna pray today, babe, and let's yes. believe God for people today um, as they 
give. Or well, well, you, you, you give, you give. give as you as you as you're led. Yes. We're not we're not receiving no. any offering right now. This is just about the book of Proverbs. But if the Lord is speaking to you and there is issues in your heart, then just let Him touch the hearts, deal with you, and and so that it wouldn't be an offence. Father, we just bring each and every person watching today. I want to thank you, Father, for blessing in Jesus' name. Mm. I thank you, Father, that our giving honors you. And when we honor you, yeah. you honor us. Yeah. Whatever we put in, in your hand will multiply That's because right. you are a God of blessing. You yes. multiply. Yes, you are. And so I thank you, Father, for multiplying. I thank you, Father, for a thousand times more for every person that's watching yes. today. I thank you for your blessing in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen, amen, amen and God amen. God bless you today. We love you. Bye-bye.